you've come so far. Hello and welcome, my name is Prue or Prue LaRue and welcome to my channel. Today I am going to take you through well, essentially the face halos and mainly just the first part of washing my face. To be honest I can't figure out, like I can't really be bothered trying to get you in my bathroom and I don't think you need to see me wash my face but I've been super excited to try the new face halo this black one the pro one for a heavy makeup user these ones and this is probably one of my cleaner ones <laughs> and I've been using this for quite a while so the face halos is a brand like I'm pretty sure it's an Australian brand Chloe Morello is the face of it or like an owner it's uncertain but she's definitely got a big part to play in advertising campaigns for these so I've had this for probably a couple months now I think. I've got three of them and I'm quite a heavy makeup wearer as I found out. They say that you just need to wet it, remove and then rinse it with soap but I've never been able to get them completely clean. To get it to this level it has been soaked in nappy sand for ages. But what I do so that I'm not constantly using them is that I'll use one side then the next day I'll use the other side and then I've got three of them so I've got six uses that I go through and then at the end of the week or when I've hit six times of cleaning my face I will wash them all and then I've got some other methods that I sometimes employ as well but now I have three black ones and three white ones I used this one the other day and I was actually really impressed that I couldn't see this one's a brand new one just to but the other one, it looks like the exact same even though it's been used. So I thought, why not? Let's do half-half with the old and with the new. So I, I went and grabbed uh, some water. I'm just going to try not to spill it everywhere. Oh, no. I already failed. Should I just wet both of them now, I think? So the instructions is that you just need water and nothing else. The amount of makeup I wear I find that really difficult to pull off as in general. So I do usually apply soap but let's do a quick try. I mean when they show you it, it looks so easy doesn't it? So as you can see very heavy makeup today. I've got the Lancome, do I have Lancome on? Yeah Lancome on. Lot heavy heavy makeup and we're just going to try and wipe this off. I mean it got some, I don't really like putting too much pressure on my eyes or pulling too much and I'll just gently do some wipes like that. I mean that's decent but there is definitely a pull mm. and it doesn't want to get this liner off so I'll come back and finish this and this is how dirty we are at the moment and let's put this one down and then going into the fancy new black one So they perform pretty much how I expect, which is kind of how they've been, but this is definitely, well you can see the dirt there, but it's not as noticeable in real life. And I just can't get the speck of glitter off me for the life of me. Oh, oh no, I just moved it. So that's sort of how they work compared to me. But usually what I will do, and I'll do this now and just demonstrate, is the clinic take the day off cleansing balm. I bought this by accident, thinking it was the other stuff that's in the pot which is a bit more oil based than this one um i don't mind this product it is nice it's gentle 
and all that jazz, but my preference is the other one. And that's solely from testing it, but I've been trying to power through this one for a couple months and so I can justify buying the other one, which is the jar one. And so I find this gives you uh, like a gentle exfoliation as well. I'm just kind of wear makeup every day, so I don't always need to do this. But you can just see applying the taking the day off balm has made it a really gentle, easy removal process for me. And we've gotten the rest of the mascara and eye stuff off. And this is pretty much with adding in the Clinique day balming. This is what my process is. And this is our level of dirt. Oh, still under my eyes. So I find this one's a bit more flexible. This one's quite stiff. Which I think, I'm sure it's stiffer than when I first got these ones. But I'll definitely come back once I've been using them for a while if they've really softened up. But there we are. All the eye makeup is off. And voila. So far, so far I'm impressed with these ones. They seem more durable really. And the dirtiness isn't as obvious. And I think they potentially are probably just going to be easier to clean because they're black. So I'm going to go duck off and just quickly try and rinse these in soap and water and see what they look like coming back. So just bear with me. So I've just given them a rinse with soap and water, which is what they recommend. This one, you can still see the dirt on there. And I just don't think high coverage foundations come off very easily. And this one you can definitely see we've gone from a pretty clean one to a pretty dirty one and this has just been my experience with the halos i do prefer these to makeup wipes because it just feels a bit more thorough especially the like amount of makeup sometimes i put on my face i feel so clean right now and these are just simple and easy for me my method of using one side each time they last a while and then I wash them afterwards so it hasn't been bothering me too much that they just get filthy like this I just don't like it after I've cleaned them and it's still filthy so I think this is gonna really improve the game and then I was watching I watched Chloe's video on it the other day I think it was like a sneaky advertisement one but this is my toner that I like been using rare pour I don't know, rare earth some cute stuff and it, it's decent I I just I like toner in my life so I figure she said the toner test because apparently that's a thing so I thought let's do one now so that is the side that I've used the pro on And I've just prepped up a new one. And this is the other one. So there's still a bit of dirt on there. I actually don't think... My experience with the face halo is that it's not my only part of my skincare regime. I spent a lot of time doing a bit of research on skincare regimes and watching a lot of the big YouTubers skincare regimes. I think predominantly Sylvia Garni's and Jay Kiss's routines were ones that really kind of opened my eyes to the fact that when you're wearing a lot of makeup you've really just got to clean your face thoroughly. So having a really huge routine for the kind of heavy makeup that I was just wearing is important to get rid of it. So normally my routine involves the Clinique take the day off cleansing stuff, halo, wash my face with like wash at the moment I've, I've got like a few different samples going in there so I don't have a preference but the Dermalogica gentle cleanser is a nice one washing my face with that wiping that off and then I'll go in with a toner and then moisturize and that just fully gets all the makeup out because I feel sometimes it really just sinks into my pores and won't come out and this has been the most effective method for me and it works for me I just thought it was interesting to see the difference in them 
and I didn't realize that it was a problem other people were having. So it's nice to see a company releasing a new product that's better. And I really like the, I think the black ones are great. And I think a lot of products should be black when it comes to makeup. Like even your eyeshadow brushes, it looks so gross when they get a bit stained with high pigments and stuff like that. So it's definitely a really good idea and I really like it. Anyway, this is a brief overview of my skincare regime and a quick comparison of the face halos. Thank you.